Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? So I'm currently outside, as you can see here. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna try to use this uh, thick, this triple thick um, crystal clear glaze that you can use for your craft uh, projects. Um, so I wanna put like a clear coating to um, the jewelry that I'm gonna sell, um, just to kinda um, maintain the color and to help prevent like tarnishing from the metal that naturally happens as people like get in the water um, or say they you know wash your hands or maybe you take a shower with your jewelry on. So I want a way to like, I want to preserve the color and the vibrancy of the jewelry that I'm gonna make. And I'll also suggest that you can get your own. So if your jewelry needs to liven up, you can just spray this on there. And it kind of helps with like discoloration from the metals. So, um, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put all this my jewelry on the shoe rack. Yes, the shoe rack is clean. So I already started there, but I was like, you know what? I should probably record this. So that's all I'm gonna do right now. So the can says that it dries within minutes. So, but it says wait a whole 24 hours before you do any heavy handling on it. So I've already made videos on these. So, and these are already ready to go. So this is just a little extra step that I'm doing. You don't have to do this. Uh, the tricky part is going to be how I'm going to do my waist feeds. That's probably going to take some time because I have my waist feeds currently on like a a standalone like closet. I don't know if it's called a closet or a garment rack you would call it. Um, so I'll probably have to do those like a little bit at a time just space them out. But now that I know about this little trick. I'm going to start doing this after I make it.
guys. I don't know if you remember um, how I said I went to Michael's and I got a lot of beads on clearance. So this is actually a beaded bracelet that is actually already done. I thought it was um, just some beads, but I realized this bead, this bracelet is already done. So this one I did not make right here. So I'm just gonna throw it on my site for like $5 or something like that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray these as well, so. Alright guys, so I have all of the jewelry on the shoe rack. As you can see, I clipped the jewelry to the end of the extension chain just so I can coat everything. And so the can says to hold the spray about 12 inches from the product. So I'm going to spray this side first and then I'm going to turn it around. And now I want to get the middle inside of the bead. So now I'm going to point the spray can downward. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it around. Well, actually, I'm not going to turn it around because I think I sprayed the, um, the shoe rack and I don't want to touch it. And I actually should be wearing a mask, but I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna do, do the other side and I'll let this dry for a few minutes. So I'm gonna let this uh, dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. All right, hey guys, so I'm back. It's been about six hours and I wish I would have uh, recorded um, like a few minutes after I spray painted because I was getting a little bit concerned because the spray paint, well it's not really sp the, the, uh, the spray uh, glaze or crystal glaze was leaving like a white coating and I was just gonna wait and see at the 24 hours if I can like wipe it off but I'm noticing that that coating has like disappeared or is disappearing and the color is coming back.
So maybe the jewelry does need the full 24, so you can kind of see the coating on this one. You can kind of see the coating on the gold. The coating. Yeah. And then the coating is completely, almost completely gone from these. And then if there was coating on this one, you can't really see it because of the color. All right. So I'll check back in tomorrow. And we'll see what it's looking like okay Bye. okay guys i'm back it is the next day and i kind of like how the jewelry turned out um however the coating on the metal pieces does look a little dull but the white coating that i was really concerned about a few minutes after i um sprayed the jewelry has completely gone away so let me flip the camera over so here's the jewelry. So as you can see, it did dry clear. But I don't know if you can see the metal pieces. They look a little, you can still tell they're coated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a soft cloth um, which is how you clean your jewelry anyway with some warm water and wipe over it and maybe it's just some residue um, that's still on top like say you spray too much and it's just an extra layer so I'm gonna see that one looks perfectly fine because there's no metal there and that one looks fine and again the spray is just a, a glaze that's normally used for like art and craft projects and some people put it on their jewelry as well so and I also I think I held the can the can too close to the jewelry as well you're supposed to hold it 12 inches away I think I was too close so when I do my second set of jewelry um, I'm gonna make sure I take my ruler and measure out 12 inches so I don't know how far to spray so let me all right guys yeah so yeah I am going to go get a small cloth with some and dip it with some warm water and see what happens. Okay, I'm outside. So I'll take this one. I don't know if you can see. Well, you can't really see. I can see, I can see it. But it looks like a little rusty. Not rusty, like um, chalky. It's not picking up on camera. So when you clean your jewelry, this is essentially what you're going to do. Okay, it's going away. So you can still see the little spray spots, but at least it, we got it shine back. I'm just gonna wipe. So I think I'm just gonna go over all of them and wipe off the excess. So that's probably what it was. So there we go. Like I said, you guys can buy this too. That's the that gray is the metal wire that I use to beat this. All right, guys, I think we have a winner. All right, catch you next time. Bye. Hey, guys. So I decided to uh, show you guys how I'm going to wipe down the jewelry and just explain a little bit more of um sorry <laughs> my findings so the only sorry my table is still cluttered because i still have a couple of uh tutorials to uh record okay so my only con would be that well it's not really con it's, it's fixable 
but just to take note. So your jewelry, um, if it wasn't already, it's gonna feel a little like rough like or not really rough, but it just, it's gonna feel like you can feel some things on it, okay? And it's probably why it looked a little like chalky, you know? Which is hard to see on camera. So I'm glad I didn't uh, ruin my jewelry, but I did take the risk. So is this the one I already wiped already? One of these I already wiped down. I wanted to show a comparison in the color. I don't know, but I think this is the one that I wiped down already, but you can see what I mean. Like it just looks more dull. And then this, and then after you wipe it off, the color comes back. So the only thing with your metal ends, um, which I don't think would be a problem because the metal ends is not really to be shown. It doesn't, at least, as long as it's not like too horrible looking, um, they just still look a little like, like a matte finish, you know? So that's all. So I will, so you can try to, it's like a soft shine matte finish. Like after I, after I go over it. So I'm just gonna wipe all of these down. I have a bowl of warm water. If you have some mouth, so if you were cleaning your jewelry, this is essentially what you'll be uh, using a soft cloth. And this is like a microfiber cloth that you normally use to clean your cars. I have like a whole pack of these. Um, they use this to clean, I think the windows of the car or something, or like the inside of your car. Um, so, and this one isn't one of my designs, but I'm gonna throw it on my website. I think that's, I said that already, so. And these look fine. I mean, you can feel like the film on it. So I'm just gonna wipe it off just because of that. Now you just take a lightly damp soft cloth whenever you're cleaning your jewelry. Uh, um, excuse me, with some mild um, dish soap. Oh, I was getting caught on the um, thing. Uh, like antibacterial soap, like you can dilute it with a little bit of that. I'm not using soap, I'm just using the warm water, that's all. I'm gonna wipe all these off. And I'm doing this because with the type of jewelry that I make, it's not gold, it's not silver, it's not aluminum. So naturally over time, things will uh, fade, your metal pieces will uh, get dull or um, rust, depending on how often you get it wet. And I am gonna leave um, cleaning instructions in, the, um, in your order, in the packaging. I already have them uh, printed. I'm ready to go. Which kind of explains like, yeah, that's only annoying thing is the, um, the metal pieces are getting stuck on the um, cloth, which is fine. Oh, this one came out nice. So yeah, so it looks, it looks okay. It looks fine. Yep. It looks fine. I just feel like if you look too hard at it, um, I mean, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just notice everything. I feel like just looking at it at first glance, you can't really notice it. But because I know I did something, I'm looking for something. And that's why I can see it. So it has a shine back, but you can still tell that, um, the texture is a little different, which is fine. As long as the main piece of the jewelry is coated and that's what we want. 
And you saw, I just had a shoe rack. So, and I just tried to coat as much of the jewelry as I can. Um, just to add a little bit of longevity to the jewelry because some of my pieces can be a little pricey and that is really because of the time. Um, so if you were to go and get your own materials, um, you'll probably spend like maybe half the price of what I paid or maybe almost the same because some of what I buy, you can make like two pieces out of it or two or three. Um, but these pieces are time consuming and there's other costs that's involved. When, um, when you have a business that I feel like some people just don't think about. Um, but they feel like if you're not like a big name, there's no reason to pay you so much money. But these take time and I do record myself on live whenever I'm making these. So you guys can see the process. And then, you know, the time to come up with the idea, you know, to pick out the color scheme, you know, it's like a whole process, you know, of putting the colors together or figuring out. And I, and I do a lot of measuring in math, you know, I don't just throw things together. So, there's that. Mm -mm -mm. But I honestly feel like or know that I sprayed too close. And that's probably why I had the extra film. So guys, make sure that you are 12 inches apart. But that, this was my first time doing this. So. And I am, I am making jewelry that kind of fits all, like everybody's budget. You know, like I can do something simple, but I'll try to make it too simple where it just look like I threw it together. You know, I try, I try to put some thought into it, you know, so I'll do something like this and I have the pattern, everything laid out with the beads on there. So, and I'll be making a variety of things. And it's like the longer it takes me to do it, to do the project, the higher the cost. So if you see something that's a little pricey, it means it probably took a little bit long time. <laughs> and especially trying to, not trying, I'm doing this business, you have to accommodate for your time. You have to account for time. And I do a lot of free stuff. I, I make tutorials, you know, so if you cannot buy from me, you can make your own. So that will be my way of giving back to the community. Um, and I kind of know like a little bit of the basics, but I really want to get deeper into jewelry making. So I'm getting, this is something I used to do when I was younger. So, but I'm a very fast learner. Like I can watch a video and I can do it like that. So it's a matter of just um, what what kind of jewelry fits me and then putting the colors together and then tweaking it. So I may change something. I may change something, you know. And then I present the video to you guys and I sh uh, walk you through it step by step by step. So you can make it on your own. Although I would love for you to shop with me so it's already made. Oh, just went on a little rant ramble there. And also, I'm gonna start doing some like market events, what do you call it, flea market, or where you can just go out with a tent and kind of show off your jewelry, which I'm kind of nervous about. 
Of course, everyone would naturally be. So that's another reason why I'm making so much to um, have enough for the store, the online store. And then, cause it's kind of slow to get your name out there when you're online, especially when you come out of the blue and nobody knows you. So I can just go out and people will see me in person. They will feel how I am as a person and everything. guys so I actually already completed the <laughs> the video for this uh, topic I was just like let me just go back on camera and just show what I'm doing so I'll just insert this clip somewhere in there so it may seem like it's not in order because it's not in order I'm adding this well it's, it's turning out good guys oh. Has this color back and everything. All right, thank you guys. Um, I already have a um, tutorial um, on this neat little necklace right here. That's coming up. I just have to edit it, and then two more small, easy videos that I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna try to go live tonight. After I put all of this new jewelry up on my website. Okay? Anyway, catch you guys next time. Bye.